as the velocity of the oiled mixed refrigerant reduces once entering the oil separator and it passes through a series of baffles. Well, the oil will be separated. So guys, the topic of today's discussion is oil separator from the marine refrigeration system. Well, we will be speaking the basics of the oil separator, the function of the oil separator and the entire concept of the oil separator. And yeah guys, stick on to this video till the end as this video is going to be helpful for you. No matter which examination you are going to attend. So guys, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and press on the bell icon for future notification. What is oil separator in the refrigeration system? Well, as the name suggests, oil separator is the one which separates the oil from the refrigerant. Now the question arises, where is the exact location of the oil separator? Well, you can say that oil separator is located at the discharge end of the compressor or to make it much more precise sense, you can say it, it is located in between the compressor discharge and the condenser inlet side. Now the next question arises which is very typical question. Well, the question is how do actually the oil get in mixed with the refrigerant? Here the oil that I am speaking about is the oil that is present in the compressor crankcase which is used for lubricating purpose. How do actually oil get mixed with the refrigerant present in the compressor? Cylinder walls of the compressor in the marine refrigerant system are splash lubricated and that's how some amount of oil is carried along with the refrigerant in the compressor discharge side. Oil separator are present at the discharge end of the compressor so that it take away all the oil from the refrigerant and give the oil back to the compressor tank case. Now you can see a typical oil separator in the screen. It is a impingement type of oil separator which have buffer plates along with it. You can see very clearly from the diagram that it is a closed type of vessel which have series of baffles. And through the series of baffles, the oil which is mixed along with the refrigerant passes through. When the refrigerant which is entering the oil separator, it will be having high velocity because it is just being discharged from the compressor. And while the oil which is mixed along with the refrigerant enters the oil separator, its velocity will be drastically reduced because it is entering a much more larger space. As the velocity of the oiled mixed refrigerant reduces once entering the oil separator and it passes through a series of baffles, well, the oil will be separated out. Now question arises how the oil will be separated out. The refrigerant which is in superheated vaporized form upon leaving the pipe will have to go through a series of baffles and that's how oil and the refrigerant is separated out. The oil will be having large mass that means more moment of inertia and it won't be able to change the direction and the entire oil will be sweeping down to the bottom of the oil separator but the gas which is having less mass that means less moment of inertia and it will be able to change the direction upon passing through a series of baffles and it goes to the discharge side of the oil separator and via the discharge side it will go to the compressor and the receiver which is present in the marine refrigeration cycle. The typical construction of the oil separator is very interesting because it is well insulated from the atmosphere because you don't want the heat to be rejected to the atmosphere and you don't want the refrigerant condensing at that particular point. That means you don't want the refrigerant condensing in the oil separator. You want the refrigerant to be condensing in the condenser. Whatever the oil that is present at the bottom of the oil separator will be carried back to the compressor's crankcase. Well, it is quite clear from the diagram that upon reaching certain level, the float will be raised upwards. As the float raises upwards, the valve will be opened and the path is quite clear so that the oil goes back to the compressor's crankcase. And that's how the oil and the refrigerant are separated. The oil goes back to the compressor's crankcase via the float and the valve arrangement and the refrigerant goes to the condenser for condensing. I hope it is quite clear how oil and refrigerant are separated on the basis of masses and how oil goes back to the compressor scan case and how refrigerant goes to the condenser for condensing. 
so that's all i wanted to share about all separator i hope this video was quite interesting if you find this video interesting do share with your friends and yeah guys do subscribe my channel and press on the bell icon for future notification and yeah guys do comment down below in the comment section as your comments are helping me to improvise my youtube videos so guys this is maran shri i'm signing off thank you and have a nice day